All right, this is a quick little recording because someone asked a question about how to basically set up a Zeus client. So I thought I'd just make this little video really, really simple. All you got to do is open up Eden Editor, click F5 um, on the Systems category, type Game Master, comes up. You want to select this one. There's a few other ones that give Zeus, but this is the most staple one to do it. And there's two ways to do it. The first way, which is the more generic way, all you got to do is double-click Owner, uh, name, all this stuff. Don't worry about any of that. Force interface, this just means that you're basically a virtual Zeus. Um, that just means you don't have a local unit. You're just kind of forcing the interface the entire time. There's other ways to do it as well. I personally, though, don't recommend it because I like having a local unit, especially for uh, you know other roleplay reasons compared to being able to roleplay certain things with an actual physical character, like launching nukes. You can't do with just an RC unit. Some things are directly tied to scripts, but I digress. That's a different video entirely. We're just talking about ownership. So a few different things you can do here. Right off the bat, reading it, you can see what it's getting at. So we're going to go over all the methods. First off, it says a variable name. So if we type monkey in here... And then we click on a unit, and then we name the variable unit monkey. Anyone that is on this unit as a playable or the player slot, because if you check that as player, that's just a single player setting. It automatically makes it a multiplayer slot. They will have Zeus. Now, this is, in my opinion, the worst way to do Zeusing, because this interaction, I don't know why, but sometimes his client will break, and he won't be able to Zeus anymore, because the game can be very silly. The only method I've learned on how to fix that is to hard code it, but we'll get there. Uh, second way to do it, if we were to copy paste, is it's um, kind of one and two. So admin logged and admin voted. I don't know why they separated them, but if you log in as an admin, um, just by putting this down, you'll uh, be able to basically get Zeus because it assigns you Zeus permissions if it detects that you're the admin on the server. The other one, admin voted means if you're voted on as an admin, you get perms. I think they separate it to make sure that if people went into a public server and voted themselves as admin, they wouldn't be able to get certain perms like Zeusing, because sometimes Zeusing gives you access to the debug console, and then you can use that to literally change anything you want from mission files and beyond, but that's some more advanced stuff. And then the fourth way, which is my preferred way to do it, because out of these three methods I've already talked about, the client will sometimes break, and it stays broken until you basically restart the mission file. You might have noticed some missions I've done where I've had to soft log uh, from a mission, for example, to get my Zeusing back. Uh, that's because I use this method, because if I had them set up on these three methods I just showed you, you would have to completely restart the mission file because it bugs out the Zeus client itself. But this one, when you do it this way, it only bugs you out. So it says player UID. So let me show you how to get that. We're going to click this button here. This opens up a display to a website that just finds your Steam UID. I'm going to type LCPL Liru there, search. This is my silly little Steam profile. You want to get the, yeah, the 64 ID here. Copy that. Go back into the interface. And... There we go. And that basically hard codes a Zeus module to the player that has that Steam ID. That's the one I like to do. This one has never broken on me other than just some general desync that would break the other ones. But instead of breaking the module, it just breaks your connection to the module. So you just do a quick soft log. Soft login is you go back to the slotting screen and then push back in. You'll have your Zeus interface back right as rain. Uh, nothing will be broken, hopefully and you can continue on. But those are the four methods to do it. You can also sync things together, but again, I, I don't recommend it. I would, in all honesty, just hard code to your UID because, I mean, that means if someone does break into your server, uh, they can't still use the admin modules because it's not tied to admin, it's just tied to your direct client. But anyway, that's my two cents. Hope that was helpful.